so sorry I've been away for so long. <laughs> Working very hard. And I'm just going to glue this paper clip to this block. And put that to one side while we work on our what we're doing today. Let's glue it while this gel medium is very, very dry now. So smear that on. Those paper clips my friend sent me in Happy Mail. Love the shape of it. Do what I'm using it to do. Right, so that's going to be my little base. Now, um, so I've got all my favourite colour paints out. I've got this to scrub them in onto, and some sticker paper to wipe some excess off. Basically, I'm going to squirt some paint out and work. Uh, talk. Basically, I want to make some little cards that are sort of almost positive affirmation cards, just to give me something so every day I can just take a card and I'm going to take one intentionally, not a random card, I'm going to take intentionally pick a card <laughs> and um maybe do a few minutes of meditation or something like that just focus my mind on that word for the day maybe I need a bit more positivity that day maybe I need a bit of energy maybe I need to encourage others So this is going to be the back of the card. I just want it to look pretty. just because Everybody is well. And not <clears throat> letting this virus affect them too much. If you're like me and you've had to work through this, then, you know, well done. <laughs> it's been hard. I'm just hoping that we don't go into another lockdown. I know it's, it's people are saying it's inevitable. Well, I hope not. Still haven't been to see my grandmother. Just because I don't, I 
haven't had the time since the lockdown ended, you know. I haven't had the time, all the energy actually, it's draining. So draining. Anyway. This is very thin paper by the way, just because I want to put it through my laminator and with all these layers of paint and stuff, um, yeah my laminator obviously doesn't want to be too thick going through it so we use this I will just dry this off for a second and I'll be back. Yeah, okay, so I've dragged out my stencils that I love, uh, I think I'm going to start with this one. The Mike Deacon stencil. doesn't have to be perfect in any way, shape or form, this is just making pretty background. You might get some stamps out in a bit, do some texture stamps. And then this is all going to be cut up into smaller pieces, little cards, once it's laminated. Get my words on. My painting you put on, so that's fine.
quite a um, well it's a fluid acrylic that one so it's uh, yeah it's gone underneath a little bit that's fine There we go. Stars next. Let's pop that back to the wheel. I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's going to hell. <laughs> Blue. Oops, got a bit of dry bit on the tip, so squeeze it out. A little bit doesn't matter. Mix a bit. It's quite a bit of paint here. Okay. Let's dab that off a little bit. That's picking up quite a bit of the teal, but that's really pretty. exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going in with it today. Sometimes it's nice just to do that intuitive. Just go for it. Whatever comes out, comes out. I say these are just cards. It's not a journal page or anything like that. Um, I have seen Gina Irons. She uses Sort of positive affirmation cards. Um, yeah. I just thought of it today. I just thought, wouldn't that be nice? Just to focus the mind for the day. Never really done any meditation or anything like that, but sometimes you just need few minutes to center yourself, relax, chill out and all that. Put some positive vibes into the universe. I think we need to all do that this time. Let's all get positive. Give each other a big virtual hug. one of my favourite stencils and I cannot remember whose it is or where I got it from. It might be an eBay jobby. Uh, okay, and I love it in the dioxys is the purple. This is a golden paint. And it's you know it was quite pricey. But it's one of my favourites so but it is very watery. So we're going to go easy with that. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm just going to dab off quite a bit.
words going through my head for what I want to put on the other side, which is good. quiet now I? <laughs> I'm getting into the zone. See, I say I don't meditate, but when I create I go quiet, I focus my mind on what I'm doing. So in a way it's a form of meditation isn't it? If I be feeling I get stressed or whatever, do some artwork. And don't stress about getting anything perfect, just throw some paint around, don't sit there and try and draw a perfect face, just do a background, do a mixed media piece, do something, anything, um, have actually started doing a bit of slow stitching, which I never thought I'd do, um, I, didn't, I never thought I'd have the patience, but actually it's a bit like mixed media, you just don't need to worry about anything being perfect, it's a collage, basically, and that's how you think about it, and just the act of stitching is quite therapeutic, repetitive, yeah, I'm not sure about this now, <laughs> it's getting a bit busy. But there we go, I'm loving this, loving this. Right. Now I think uh, oh yeah, I just have this as well. Let me play with this a little bit. I'm gonna squirt out some of this purple paint. Uh, let's give this a go. It's just a uh, like a stylus for tablet or whatever that I don't use. Cool. <laughs> I like it. Excellent mark making tool. <laughs> See? Have fun. Use things that are not intended for art. Because Okay, I think that's enough dots. 
for though. Because I have this left over, let's just move that out of the way. Play. This is becoming a great mixed media piece. Drop sheet. Do, do, do. Fun, fun, fun. And then clean that off a little bit. I'm just going to spread out that purple. And let it dry as nice. And there we go. Now we'll take a quick pause while I dry this and put my paints away and I think we'll get some inks out do some stamping. Why not? Okay, so grabbed my drawer of archival inks and I've got some mark making stamps. So let's play. Let's add a little bit of pink into the mix. is a brush cleaner. I haven't got any script stamps out, have I? Hmm, do I need script today? Maybe not, we'll leave that. We've got quite a lot going on already. Mermaid Lagoon. Let's have a go with this. This is cut from a wood mounted stamp. I didn't want the lines on the stamp but I wanted to use those for this kind of thing. Oh it's grey. Oh it's grey. Let's do it in the middle. Geometric flavor. Yes, and this is from the same stamp, but obviously I've cut it. Yeah. Uh, same color. Let's get it. Same color. Yes. And then my pot holder, one of my favourites. Um, purple, red, grey, black. Should we have some black? It's nice to have a little bit of black in. Stampers. I think I bought them for Wilkinson's. Um, little Mermaid. Mermaid. 
Mermaid, Unicorn. Oh, you can't see him on there. Mermaid. Yeah. Mermaid somewhere a bit plain for you because you're. There we go, and then a narwhal and grey, so hopefully. Oh, oh yeah, I remember this one's a bit squidgy. So, I think I need to get rid of the ink that's in this one. And just use him as a, a normal stamp. Come and order a little bit blotchy. Oh, there we go. Do it gently. You can barely see. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, no, it's not. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame about that one. And then we've got this one that says stay magical. So this one's a bit blotchy as well. Mind you, they've all kind of blobbed out on the uh, on the paint a little bit. Never mind. I don't care. <laughs> it's texture. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I want to add any more? Do I want some butterflies? Oh, that was so daft. Sorry. Just pull the drawer out. Oh dear. Um, good flies. Yet some more. Uh, no. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Um, yeah, so let's pop this away. Um, jump back. Yeah, so this block is from a wooden mounted stamp, and I've taken the stamp up. I have a collection here of bits of wood <laughs> that I've taken the stamps off. Because I don't like wood mounted stamps, but the stamps themselves are very pretty. So, move my inks out again. So I'm do this little spit. So, 
going to do the wood. I don't know. I think I'm going to need a fresh sheet. So we can leave that to one side to dry. And if you bear with me one second, I'll get some paper and I'm gonna draw a grid on it. Very simple, but you don't need to watch me measuring a grid. So I'll come back to you when that's done and we're ready to attach it to our backing. Yes. See you in a minute. Okay, so I have divided it up, written my words out. Um, some of these have a specific meaning for me at the moment. Um, patience at work, I'm struggling with patience, I really am. <laughs> trying to teach someone something and I'm really not getting it. So encouragement is part of that. Unite and pride, that's part of work. Um, I want to become a better manager. I want to unite my team, I want us all to have a bit more pride in our workplace, I want to have pride in my workplace myself. Um, self care, I want to start looking after myself on my days off, just taking some time to be looking after myself, you know, just little things and treat, that could be treat myself, could be treat a friend. Um, this word luciferous, I found that while I was just having a look at some words, it means to to give light or bring light to something, so I quite like that. Um, environment, that could be part of the nature thing, or it could be my physical environment right now, do I need to reorganise things, do I need to tidy up, I always need to tidy up. <laughs> yeah. And let go, that's um, another work related thing for me right now. I mean, these meanings may change as time goes on. I don't particularly need the word hope right now, but I may do. So yes, yeah, so that's my words. What I'm going to do is grab my other sheet. Hopefully it's about the same size. Maybe... Yes, perfect. So all I'm going to do is put... Oh, I should have turned the... Uh, Laminator on. Never mind. You don't even need to see me laminate, do you? I'm just gonna put it through a laminator. So I'm just gonna put some of this on. It's just like a double-sided tape runner. It doesn't need to be anything permanent because it's gonna be laminated. I just want this to be easier to put through the laminator. See how thin this paper is. It's ripping. This is slightly thicker paper. It's uh, super smooth. E. Okay, so let's stop with that. <laughs> I don't think it really matters which way around I put that. Okay, let's try and get it straight. I can trim off any edges if I need to. We've got an edge here, so it doesn't matter. So I shall go away, laminate this, and then I might just do me cutting it up in fast forward just so you can see me cutting it up. So I'll be back soon.
now. So I'm going to cover my block with this. I'm just going to... Oh, I did have a pencil a minute ago. Maybe do gold pencil. Like so. I'm going to use this side for this side. No. Should I do it this way? Let's use this as the back side. So I'm just going to grab a little, if I can, gel medium to build this up. Because obviously this is sticking out, sticking out 3D. So I want to make it even if I can. I really need to get some more gel medium. Okay, that's what my next job is to do. Buy some gel medium. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not even sure if this is glue anymore. Ugh. Over the clip just to add some security. And I bet you I can't peel this now. A light spreading of the gel medium to the front just to help make sure this, this sticker stays. Okay, let's cut that. And I'm going to put it out the way. I want to write on here. Today. 
feeling again. Here we go. And now I've got to try not to touch that writing because it is a little wet and I want to smudge it. It's very bumpy, so hmm. maybe I should have skipped the jump. Never mind. Never mind. Flat go so I may add more to this eventually or later on I should say but for now oh squash it jump so for now I have my little block today and then my word for today was this is the word I thought about last night before I went to bed what I wanted to be today productive I think I have been productive I have finished a recipes I have sewn my mother some masks that she asked me to do uh, and I've made this I've made a video um, maybe Maybe if my computer plays ball, I can edit this and get this up today. We shall see. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then on the back, you've just got your little prettiness. So if you wanted to, if you weren't, if I wasn't, didn't have a particular word in mind, I could do it random. But yeah, but there you go. I just thought it would be nice to have something to focus on each day. Sometimes things can get a bit overwhelming, so, you know, rather than worrying about, oh, oh dear, the one came apart, oh dear, okay, uh, so worrying about doing too much, having to be a brilliant person, just focus on one thing at a time. Okay. Oh no, they're not sticking together. <laughs> okay. Well that wasn't a very good idea, was it? crystals and whatever helps you focus I need to get in the line with this beautiful anyway or a photograph of a loved one anything like that I'm going to put a bit of weight on that just to secure it there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching that and do something positive for yourself um, or for someone else like this. If you think someone else is maybe having a hard time focusing their mind, maybe you can make this as a, as a gift or something like this as a gift. So, <laughs> thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you again soon. 
Um, stay well, stay healthy, stay apart, wear your mask, wash your hands, positive thoughts. Much love. Okay, see you soon. Bye, guys.